What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Plutonia Experiment on Ultra Violence. Today I'm playing Abattoir, and as you can see, I've already got into it because that Kaku Demon just comes right at you at the beginning. So take him out as well as the specters in this room. And then we can grab some shells here and a couple of stim packs at the end before we head down the staircase on the right. As soon as you walk onto that where the super shotgun is, the floor is going to lower down. There's going to be a couple of pinkies. One teleports away, but he always comes back. And we can take him out. And then we'll grab the first secret of the level right here for a soul sphere. And then we're going to go through this teleporter. There's going to be some pinky demons as well as a couple of revenants at the end of the room. So we want to take out those revenants as quick as possible to avoid their rockets. You can use this little platform they're standing on to avoid their rockets. Alright, let's take out that revenant up there. There we go. And there's a plasma rifle and some energy cells right in the middle here. And a couple of energy cells that were back there. And then we're going to grab these rockets and the rocket launcher up here. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to head up these stairs and to the back there doing so is going to open up a wall over here with a revenant and also if you fire after that's opened a bunch of revenants and imps will start pouring in and i mean a lot so what we want to do is head to the wall here that opens up inside there's an invulnerability spear we're going to grab that and then start taking care of all the enemies with the plasma rifle and the rocket launcher so let's do that all right now that's opened up. Let's grab this and start firing. I find it best to stay in this room as all the enemies will kind of funnel into where you are. And you can kind of just take them out. We want to try and take out all the revenants at the very least before the uh, invulnerability sphere runs out. Alright, let's start using the rocket launcher. Alright, I think all the revenants are dead, so we'll just mop up the leftover imps. Oh, looks like that last one there got squished, and that should be all of them. So now we can hit the two switches up here. One's going to raise up a bridge, and the other one's going to lower down the blue key card, revealing the switch. Oh, looks like we got another imp. There we go. All right, and then we'll grab the second and last secret of the level by jumping in here. And we're done with this room. So we'll head over here, go back in the teleporter, and head up this elevator. And then we'll head over here to the blue key door. And on the other side, there's going to be some imps, so we'll take care of them. And firing will wake up the Kaku Demons inside the room as well. There should be two of them. And we also gotta keep an eye out where those imps are as some Hell Knights and Chain Gunners will show up. But first, let's take care of this Kaku Demon. Let's get him to come into this room so his corpse doesn't block our view over there. Let's wait for those Hell Knights to come out. It looks like he's taking his sweet time. So we'll take out this Kaku Demon right here. Oh, there's one of them. So we'll fire a couple of rockets over there. Ooh, that was close with that door, op uh, door closing there. Alright, we got a Mancubus on the other side. We're gonna take care of him. Alright, let's finish off that second Hell Knight there. Sometimes he doesn't come out, and if he doesn't, then we'll have to deal with him later, but we got lucky and he showed his face. Alright, we'll hit this switch here. It's gonna raise a platform that'll let us reach over where those imps are. 
But first, let's take care of the chain gunners over on the left. All right, we'll just chain gun some of those imps while we wait. All right, getting onto this side of the room will open up a wall back over here that's gonna reveal a couple of chain gunners and a mancubus. So get ready to take those guys out. All right, and there it is. We'll fire a couple of rockets over there. Try and take out that Mancubus. Alright, one more rocket for good measure, and then we'll head over there and see if there's any chain gunner still alive. Oh, looks like we took care of them all. Alright, so next we're going to deal with the room behind this door right here. There's going to be quite a few imps as well as a couple of mancubus, so get ready to take them out. Looks like he was ready for me. Alright, one more mancubus. There we go, and then we'll just take out all the imps that are in here. We might as well just walk into the room and take them out from inside. Alright, and then we'll jump down here, grab the yellow key. Don't forget to pick up all the rockets in here. And now we can open up this door, and this, we're going to be met with some imps, an arachnotron, and some specters. So let's take them all out. And we'll just take out the arachnotron with a couple of rockets. All right, is there any remaining specters? Nope, good. All right, so we're gonna let make sure that this door stays open. Grab that red key card as the walls around there are gonna open up revealing some chain gunners and we don't wanna get surrounded. So we'll just head out here. There we go. And if any Hell Knights uh, didn't come out, out here, this is where they would be, as this wall right here is a fake wall, and it leads to right here. And it looks like there's a Spectre that got stuck in here, and I didn't realize it. So there's a backpack, uh, energy cell pack, and some other goodies in there. And we're just going to... We'll head over here. There's a couple of med kits that we can grab. All right, now we have all the key cards. We can head back to the main area. But the beginning area, a couple of spots have opened up, revealing some imps as well as an arch file right outside this door. So we're gonna take out that arch file. Luckily, he's stuck in there. So you don't have to worry about him coming out and running around. So I'm gonna wake up all of the imps in the side rooms here. bring them into the middle so we can take care of them with a the super shotgun. There's lots of uh, boxes of shells that we can grab so don't worry about using up your, your shells too much on this part. There we go. Alright, so you can grab some health. And like I said, there's some uh, boxes of shells on the one side here. There we go. All stocked up. And now we can open this up. But this isn't actually the exit, guys. It's actually a little bit of a trap. Quite a nasty trap. So get ready. When you go into that teleporter, you're going to be met with some barons, some hell knights, some caco demons, and other guys there, so let's see how well we do. All 
All right, not too bad, not too bad. There is a med kit there, and you can open this up for a soul sphere. So you'll have that 200% health. But it's not over yet, guys, as we have another nasty room. If you open this door at the very end, there's going to be a bunch of chain gunners. So we're going to fire a couple of rockets. See if we can't take them all out. All right, there's just one left. There we go. And then we're going to have a couple of imps on the left. And a couple of imps on the right. All right, now for the worst part here, when you go around the right or the left, the doors there, or the little spots there, will open up, revealing a bunch of imps, as well as in the four corners. There's going to be a Revenant on top and a Mancus, Mancubus down below, and that's in all four corners. So the best way to do this is where the imps come out of. You want to try and get in there as quick as possible, like this. And then you're going to want to deal with all of the imps on the other side. And try and avoid any incoming fire from the Mancubus and Revenants as you can. The best way to do that is stay in the back and the middle. And they can't see you. And then you're just going to sneak out. Fire a couple of rockets at one of them. Take him out. And do the same for the one on the left. and avoid all incoming fire. And then we're gonna head to the other side. Run in here. And we're gonna do it again. Looks like he didn't die, so we'll fire another one over there. All right, that one's down, and then this guy. All right, all the Mancubus are taken out. So now we just have to deal with the Revenants. And the best way to do that is just run into the middle. Run around. Try and fire some rockets up at them. And avoid their uh, rockets as best as you can. Luckily, we have that Mega Armor. All right, one left. And that's all the Revenants and all the Mancubus taken care of. Now we just gotta hit this switch right here. Doing that is gonna raise you up, as well as raise a bridge in the middle leading to the exit. So just run across into that exit, and you're done. So that is 100% secrets on Abattoir, guys. If you like the video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys next time.